So I wanted to talk a minute about USB-C and the Apple MacBook Pro uh, 2017 and 2016. Um, the only reason I have a 2017 is that I purchased it hoping that Apple had addressed the problem with the HDMI. Um, as an example here, you can see that I have a monitor on the left and then I have another monitor over here on the right and the monitor on the right is suspiciously black. Um, the problem is, is that about 50% of the time when I unplug this MacBook Pro or the other one and I plug in to carry it into someone else's office to do some work, I come back, I plug it back into my, my setup here and about 50% of the time, one or the other of these monitors don't come back on. Um, it's been about two days since the, or three days since the one on the right has even worked. Um, I've done everything I can think of to try to get it to work. And it's just, it is a huge pain in the butt. It's a constant back and forth trying to get this computer to work. Um, the problem is that instead of Apple putting an HDMI adapter on the computer, like every other manufacturer on the planet Earth, they decided that they were going to be smarter than everybody else and put only USB-C, which means that you have to have an adapter to do anything with this computer. So I own about 10 USB-C to HDMI adapters, not because I want to own 10 of them, but because I've been forced to purchase 10 of them in order to try to find one that actually works. Um, the, the problem is, is that sometimes it'll work and most times it won't. Um, and Apple evidently either is too stupid to know that, it, that the problem exists or they just don't care um, because it is just, it, it's beyond, we, we've been three years now, two years at least um, with this crazy setup and it still doesn't work. There's thousands of posts out on the internet of people having this problem and yet Apple still hasn't solved the problem. Um, so you know that's one problem the other problem that we have is that the uh, USB-C adapters themselves or the plugs don't actually plug into the computer so when you plug them in they don't actually snap or anything or do anything in any way to hold themselves inside of the computer other than the friction of the plug itself and so they're very very easy to have come unplugged and they do have to go all the way into the socket before they actually work so you you have a plug that is you know very easy to to come unplugged um, and it's just it's very frustrating to work with um, in addition it, the power output supplied by the USB-C which is by the way better than USB 3 the problem is, is that Apple has decided that that's the only port they're going to put on the computer, including the power adapter, which means that for these lacy RAID drives that I have that worked fine on the old uh, MacBook Pro, they won't work on the new MacBook uh, USB-C model because there's not enough output in the port to drive the, the drive. Now, there are two drives in this. But I, I used to be able to plug two of these drives into my old MacBook Pro. And with this USB-C, almost $4,000 computer, it's impossible to drive more than one of these drives at a time. Um, and so my entire workflow had to change to try. And it really isn't a, much of a workflow anymore. It's a huge pain in the butt. Um, but it's the only option I have now that my, Apple has decided to get rid of the ports that actually function you know they they talked us into this thunderbolt thing and made us buy all these thunderbolt drives and then just a few years later they decide that usb-c was the way and so now it's the magic way so you know if i have a complaint about apple it's you know the their constant changing ports i mean i do appreciate them trying to stay up with the time and and support the latest hardware but um, at some point, function is kind of important. So if you move to a new platform that doesn't function, um, you're going to have people posting videos like this about how awesome you are. Um, but, you know, the MacBook Pro uh, 2017 and the 2016, there's very little difference between the two of them. In fact, I can tell you there's no difference between the two of them. Um, the monitors, you know, really nice monitor. 
The touchpad's really nice. The keyboard is absolutely by far the worst keyboard I've ever seen on a notebook computer. It has no feel on the on the keys at all. There, it's almost like typing on glass um, because the the keyboard just really is not it's not comfortable to type on. And and I find myself making more errors on that keyboard than any other keyboard that I type on. I do type, um, so it it's not something. You know where I'm chicken pecking and trying to, to type on it I, I do type on the thing and and it just it I do not like the keyboard um, so you know bad keyboard terrible design um, no you at no HDMI ports on the thing at all um, and evidently converting uh, USB-C to HDMI um, is not a very functional way to do anything because no other computer manufacturer is doing this Apple is the only vendor that has decided that we don't need HDMI anymore and that the USB-C is the only thing we need. Um, and I guess until every monitor manufacturer on planet Earth decides that they're going to start supporting USB-C as a video driver, um, you're, you're kind of screwed. Um, so, you know, you'll end up having to buy a lot of these things. Um, and again, no matter what you buy, because I have every brand of HDMI converter that is made right now. And as you can see, I still have a black monitor. So thank you, Apple.